Come on, Mikey. This is the place where you can turn into anything you want. So, your job is to lie on the bed and close your eyes. And then you turn into a certain creature. But it depends on the bed you sleep on. Uh, are you serious right now? You're probably just kidding around and trying to prank me. No, Mikey. Here, check it out for yourself. Where would I want to go? I mean, I can go to any bed I want? Yes, that's right. You just lie down and close your eyes. And then you'll see what you turn into. Uh, let's try Villager then. Come on! Let's lie down. I'm going to stand here and watch it happen. Then you lie down, close your eyes, and then a miracle will happen. Okay, it's about to happen. Yes, come on. Whoa, now what? I'm a villager now? That's right, Mikey. You're a villager now, and we can go to the villager's village and find out what's going on there. Well, you can do it too, then. I'm not going to go there alone. Well, then I'm closing my eyes right now and turning into a villager too, right? Yes, JJ, you already are, and that's great. Now we can go to the warehouse in that villager village. Hey, I don't get it. You want to steal from them? Uh, why not? I don't think it'll make them poor. Really? Well, then let's go quickly. Well, look, see that poster? Yeah, what's it say? I don't understand it. It says that creatures like creepers are not allowed in here. Zombies and us. So only villagers can go in there? Uh, that's right, JJ. That's why I wanted us to come here. Because there's something special in here. Yeah, it looks pretty good to me. There's a lot of different chests in here. Look here. There's so much valuable stuff in here. It's a good thing we actually came here. And now it all belongs to us. You calm your appetite. I don't think we're going to steal everything we see here. It's not fair. Hey, I don't care what's fair and what's not fair. You're not going to blame me, are you? Mikey, calm down. Let's get out of here. We only took a little bit and we're not going to mess with ourselves anymore. Oh, come on. We'll have a chance to steal whatever's in the wrong place. But right now, I wouldn't mind turning into some kind of mutant. What do you say? You want to be an Enderman? Well, let's see what he's got. Come on, Mikey. I want to see what's so interesting. Whoa, you've really become him. Cool. Now it's your turn. We'll be Endermen so we can move around the Enderworld in peace. All right, now it's my turn. What's up? Did I do it? Uh, uh, no, you're just a regular person. Is something wrong? Weird, but I have Enderman powers. I can teleport. I can teleport too. Anyway, it's cool that we got beds like this. Now we can be anything we want to be. Hey, be careful out there. The water is damaging the Enderman, which means stay out of it. Oh, yeah. Thanks for reminding me about that because I'd completely forgotten about it, to be honest. Mikey, where are we going and why are we back here again? Are we going to steal again? I'd like to teach a guy a lesson who's been bothering me a lot lately. I don't get it. What do you want to do? I want to steal his chest. He must have some stuff in here. So he'll see that next time he's missing a chest. Uh, Enderman can take blocks like that. So why not take this dude's chest? We're not going to get in trouble for playing your game, are we? We need to be a little calmer. Come on, don't worry about it. Do you want to open the chest? Nope, you open it and show me what's in it. Well, let's see what he's got in the chest in the back of his house. Hey, I don't like this. What if there's nothing in there? What if there's a trap? Maybe you shouldn't open your enemy's chest. Oh my God, a skeleton? Oh no, I think it was a trap. How could there be a skeleton in the chest? I don't know. Maybe that dude knew you were coming and decided to teach you a lesson. Ah, uh, what difference does it make? I'd rather sleep now and turn into a zombie. I wonder what'll happen this time. Come on, become a zombie? Huh, that's a very weird idea to be honest. But on the other hand, zombies are very strong. So, whoa, Mikey, how are you doing? Uh, yeah, but, oh my God, JJ, I'm burning up. Oh no, zombies burn in the daylight. JJ, do something. Help me or I'm going to burn. Mikey, go under the columns. They keep out the light so you can wait until tonight. I'll just sleep for a while and maybe it'll be evening. Oh, I just had an interesting idea. You might even like it. Mm-hmm. You look kind of weird. I thought zombies look different. Mm, what's wrong? I don't look like a zombie at all. It's just that even if you are a zombie, you don't realize it right away. It's like you're just a regular person. Follow me, Stow, I have an idea. Hey you, stop right there. 
Oh my god, it's mutants! No, no, Talking no, mutants are attacking us! No, no. Somebody help us! Ah! <laughs> no one can help you anymore! You're all doomed, and so is your village! Ha 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 ha, he's turned into a zombie. But Mikey, don't you think that's a little cruel? Don't go out at night because it's dangerous at night because there could be mutants in here. Oh my god, JJ, look over there! What a giant! Oh no, it's a giant zombie, but I don't think it's coming towards us, it's... Uh, it's trying to destroy the village. Oh no, what's he doing? Hey, you stop doing that! You don't have to! We have to run now! We have to stop him before he destroys the whole village! Yeah, but how are you gonna stop him? Go jump on the bed with the golem! I think the golem is strong enough to stop the monster! What do you think? Uh, I think that's a great idea. So let's hurry up! That way we at least have a chance against the giant! Yes, we're definitely gonna make it! I don't doubt it! Hey, you filthy monster! Leave people alone! Ah. Are you the bravest one here? Well, then you're gonna wish you were brave. Why are you touching them? Leave the village alone. No, I won't listen to you. I'll do what I want. If I want to destroy Ouch. the village, I'll do it. Oh my god, Mikey, what you did to my friend. Now it's your turn. Get down, you sneaky coward. You're gonna end up like your friend. Don't talk about Mikey like that. You filthy pile of rotting meat. I'm gonna figure out a way to stop you. And I know all your secrets. You can run, but you'll never be able to stop me. Phew, looks like I'm safe for now. That dude lost me. It looks like things have gotten complicated. Mikey's on the ground, and I'm alone with this monster. I've got to stop him. Not so fast, my friend. And now I'm going to get on the bed with the dragon. No, don't you dare do that. You're about to... I'll turn into a dragon. I know it. I finally found this ancient mythical altar and I can finally go back to my old body. Oh no! Oh my god! I have to transform into an Enderman to somehow stop this dude. I can't believe this is happening. What did he even say? That this zombie giant was a dragon? So his soul was trapped in a zombie? I don't understand anything, but I do know that this dragon is dangerous and must be stopped. Oh my god, poor Mikey. Oh no! Hey buddy, come on, get up! Jay, is that you? I can't get up. Come on! Yes, you can. We're in a super tricky situation right now, and we have to stop the monster somehow. Otherwise, he's gonna destroy us. I can't! I'm really weak! I can't feel my body and I just can't do anything! Your time is running out. I'll attack you soon and then you won't stand a chance. Give us time. I can't fight you alone. You're right. I'll give you some time. In the meantime, Think about how you can give me a decent fight with me. Yes! I've already figured out how to give you a fight, Dragon. You just wait a little while. I'm turning into a villager to get to the warehouse because there's a weapon there that can stop the dragon. That's funny. You're a little out of shape if you think you can stop me like that. I'm gonna get all the weapons I need for the fight. This is a bow and arrow. You can also bring a sword. Come on, Dragon. I'm ready to fight you. Let's fight! Come on. First you show me what you can do. I'll play with my food. Ha ha ha. You mean me? Don't call me that. You underestimate my power. <sighs> wow, you're so brave. I'm so scared, my friend. I want to see you do it. Show me a decent fight. Come on. Get your arrows. I'll shoot you with a bow. Is ridiculous. They've been trying to shoot me down with a bow for hundreds of years. You think you're so special that you can hit me? You're right, it's kind of hard to shoot with this thing. But don't forget, we have weapons that weren't around a hundred years ago. Woo, so show me, come on. I want to experience a new challenge because life has gotten a little boring. Wait, dragon, I have to get my friend up and then we'll beat you. Hey doc, hi, can you help me get my friend back on his feet? I'll give you some emeralds. Ah, well then come on, show me what's wrong with your friend. What are his complaints? Well, he can't walk very well, and it's like he can't feel his body. I got it. I'm going to try an experimental serum on him. He should be back on his feet in no time. Doctor, is it even safe? Are you sure nothing will happen to him? He'll be as if he was just born. You'll see for yourself. Whoa, thank you so much, Doc. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Good luck with your business. I'm waiting for the fight. How much longer do I have to wait? You promised me you two would fight. 
You just wait a little while. We just need to do something and we'll be back. I don't get it. What are you going to do? Now I'll become an Enderman and I'll show you what I want to do. <laughs> Come on, hurry up. I want to see a real battle. Come on, I'm waiting for you. Mikey, what are you up to? Why don't you tell me? I'm going to be an Enderman now, which means I'm going to grab onto the dragon's nose and just try to knock it off. Then you'll come along and we'll take it down together. Yep. There you are. What are you going to do to me? Uh, we're going to land a little bit. And we're going to have a fight on the turf. Nice work, Mikey. I'm going to have to become a golem to do some serious damage to the dragon. Well then, this is going to be great. I'm going to go help Mikey now. Because he can't do it alone. Looks like the dragon doesn't stand a chance. Hey, you. Let me out of here right now. Let me fly. You're in a hurry, aren't you? You wanted a fight. Well, you're about to get one. I finally got a decent fight. At last, my soul will have peace of mind, knowing I'm not the strongest man in the world. Farewell, my friends. I'll never forget you. Hey, what does that mean? Why is he talking like he's some kind of ally of ours? I don't know. That dragon was super weird, and it was like he wanted a test or something. Frenza, thank you so much for freeing our village from an ancient evil. You saved us, which means you deserve a big reward. So please accept this jewel on behalf of the entire village. Thank you again for saving us. You're always welcome in our village, so come back whenever you want, JJ and Mikey. You are true legends. Thank you. So what now? What do we do now? Uh, we still have one more unique bed we haven't used. Bed? What bed is that? I'd forgotten all about them. Dragon pattern bed. We can be dragons. We fought one. But what if we become one ourselves? What if we use our new dragon skills? Have you ever flown a dragon? Dragons, huh? I wonder what will come of it. Uh, there's a training field nearby. We can fly there and practice our new abilities. All right. Let's just see what we can do first. Can we really become dragons? Uh, yes, JJ. Look at me. I'm a dragon now. Come on, you try it. Wow, Mikey. I can't believe we're about to become dragons and learn their powers. Mikey, look. I think I got it. I'm a dragon now. Cool. Let's go where I told you to go. Let's have a little competition. What competition? We just became dragons and we're familiarizing ourselves with his powers. There's no need for a competition. Uh, there's a base and there's a practice test. We can try to pass it there. Come on. All right, let's see how we do it, because I can't believe we're going to be flying dragons right now. Whoa, what the hell is this place? What are we going to do here? Uh, we're going to fly dragons. Oh, I mean, we are dragons, but we're flying to practice our flying skills. I see there's some helicopters here. Are we in their way? Can we go somewhere else? No, we'll be here. We could have a contest of some kind. Or maybe there already is one going on here. Oh, Mikey, I don't even know. I don't really like your idea, to be honest. Uh, come on, it's gonna be fun, so don't worry about it. So, we're gonna see what we can do. Are you ready, JJ? I'm ready, let's fly already. So, what can you tell me? I can tell you that I totally love being a dragon. Flying around the world is fun. What about you? I don't really like being a dragon, but flying is fun. You don't like being a dragon? But why? Because I'm just so big. And it's like, there's always so little space for me. That's why I feel like I don't like being a dragon. Maybe you're right after all, JJ. I just hadn't really thought about it, to be honest. These helicopters are so fast. I'm surprised we can even catch up to them. Hey, Mikey, tell me the story about the dragon. Uh, yeah, I promised you. That dragon was once an emperor. What do you mean? He was a human? I don't get it. No, he was a dragon. But then a warrior came along and destroyed him. It's like that warrior could absorb dragon souls or something. So what now? How did that dragon survive? Uh, it turns out that warrior just chained the dragon's soul in a rock and threw it down a cliff. But it turned out that after a few hundred years, miners found the stone and broke it. And then the dragon's soul was released and turned the miners into zombies because of a virus. And after that, the dragon's soul took over one of the miners. And that dragon or zombie miner turned into a huge giant zombie. And this dude was looking for a worthy opponent to fight him in a fair and epic battle. But why? He wanted revenge. And that's the only way his soul would find peace. 
And it turns out we came in and destroyed him. That's why he gave up so easily. He just wanted peace. Wow, that's quite a story. I'm just shocked that the dragon had a story like that. Whoa, I think I beat the helicopter and came in first. Pretty cool, huh? There you go. And you say you don't like dragons. Look how effective a dragon can be. Yes, it's very fast. And I can tell you for a fact that a dragon is a great way to get around. Well, looks like we have nothing else to do now. We've tried becoming all sorts of mutants. All in all, I liked it. Yeah, me too. Now we have to become normal people. And we're going to get ready for our next adventure. And what will our next adventure be? Let that remain a mystery. But that's all for today. Well, that's about it. All in all, I enjoyed today. But my favorite mutant is still the golem. Golem? That's boring. Why a golem? Because it's very strong and tough. And I like golems a lot better in general. Well, now I want to rest a bit because I'm really tired. <laughs>